Welcome back to the workshop. In our previous video, we just installed this backdrop for our photography area, and this stone backdrop to sit behind the armor suits. And next, I think we'll work our way up and start dressing up this ledge that runs along the back wall. We'll figure out the paint and backdrop a little later. So for now, our next step is going to be 3D printing some better helmet stands that fit the vibe a little better. And my goal with this build is to do something fast and easy. If you've been following us for a while, you'll mostly know us for our handcrafted armor projects. But over the past year or so, I've also been getting into 3D printing. So behind the scenes, I've been prototyping various tools to use in the shop to start gaining those skills. And I would also like to design more visually creative things too. So I wanted to come up with a more interesting way to display our helmets. I originally designed this stand to have a dome on the top, but then I remembered every time I use a helmet stand with a dome on it, the helmet will just naturally find its center of gravity, and that may not be how you want to display it. So I'll end up having to add some tape or something sticky to hold it in place. But I figured if I left the upper rim on it kind of sharp, it would have a little more bite on the inside to hold the helmet in place however you set it. Once the design is done, it's off to the printer. For this build, I'm going to use the FL Sun T1 Pro. This is what's called a Delta printer, and it was sent to us for use in this video. The T1 Pro shares a lot of the same specs and performance as the more expensive S1 model. The trade-off is it's a little smaller, and there's some assembly required. Nothing too difficult though. Delta printers have a circular build plate, so you will lose a little volume for some of the square prints, but it also makes up for this by allowing for taller prints. The total build volume is still quite large, at 216mm diameter by 330mm tall. It also has a lot of quality of life features, like wireless connectivity, responsive touchscreen, and the dual gear direct drive extruder can handle a wide range of materials, so it's very versatile for all kinds of projects. I didn't have to babysit it. Thanks to the auto leveling and auto calibration features, everything works straight away from the first print. Just set it up and go. And if it runs out of film at mid-print, it'll pause the print and allow you to easily resume. One of the things that sets this machine apart is how ridiculously fast it is. It can print up to 1000 mm per second with an acceleration of 30,000 mm per second squared. And as with all 3D printers, the real world speed will depend on what you're printing and what settings you use, but this is incredibly fast. Now you might think fast is great, but does it sacrifice quality? And honestly, not at all. The prints all came out very crisp and clean, even at very standard slicer settings with no tinkering. Overall, this is everything you could hope for in a modern 3D printer. I really enjoyed using this printer for this project, and I'll be looking for some more opportunities to use this and its bigger brother, the S1, in future videos. I did conscript the S1 to print some of these stands to speed up the process, but I'll make a separate video for the S1 with another project. If you'd like to get either of these for your own shop, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. Alright, let's keep going with the build. We'll head over to the garage, which is not really set up for filming yet, but we do have some metal casting projects and other fun builds that'll be coming up that need to be done in here, so we'll be looking to getting things organized, build some nicer backdrops and work surfaces, and of course we'll have to upgrade the lighting, which is really bad for filming at the moment. But for now though, this is just a rare look at the raw before state of things, and I hope you can enjoy seeing that part of the process. Be sure to subscribe to our second channel if you'd like to see more behind the scenes content like this. After a few paint tests off camera, I decided I wanted to go for a metallic silver look for these stands. I'll start with a black base coat, and then I'll use factory silver hyper dip. Hyper dip is a flexible, peelable paint, mostly intended for painting cars, but it's also great for painting props. You can pick up this paint and other related products from dipyourcar.com. Next, I'll add some quick weathering to make things look a little more rustic. And just so you know, for more serious builds like wearable parts or customer projects, there would be a lot more steps in filling, priming, sanding, and painting. But again, fast and easy is the goal here. So I'll just be adding some quick texture here so that it doesn't look so stark. 
If you would like to print this yourself, I'll be making the file available, so check the links in the description. I think I'll also add this to our guilt welcome pack, meaning if you join any tiers starting at $5, you can get this, special access to our Discord, as well as many armor patterns, and a lot of other cool features, so definitely check that out. Another reason I did these helmet stands is to dress up future helmet photo shoots a bit more. We have a very full plate between our custom projects and our academy videos, so I don't know if we'll ever have time to do a big studio upgrade in one shot, but if we can keep chipping away at it, I think we'll get there eventually. I would love your input too. What do you think would be awesome to see added to our photo shoot scene next? I couldn't really tell you if this ledge was designed intentionally to set decorative effects on or if it's something left over from previous expansions. But in our case, we're just kind of using it to display props and helmets and things. I think it'll look cooler when we get the upper backdrop painted, but I think this is a step in the right direction. Subscribe to our second channel for behind the scenes content, and subscribe to this channel for cool builds and tutorials. And join our guild to support our channel and get a lot of great perks in return. Thanks to FL Sun for their support with this video, so don't forget to check out their link in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.